Hi, this is Mrs. Alexander, and today we're going to go over activity 323, Does Changing One Nucleotide Make a Difference? Today I'm using the Molecular Workbench Simulated Model uh, under Protein and DNA Code. Today I'm going to use a few simulations to demonstrate the difference between hydrophilic and hydrophobic effects of glutamic acid and valine. Please watch and pay attention while you guys go through your activity. Um, this should complete step 7 on your Word document uh, when it comes to answering questions about glutamic acid and valine. Also pay attention to a few of your conclusion questions because they will go directly with this recording as well. Alright, so pay attention to this first simulation on the top and the one on the bottom. Can you tell which one's hydrophobic and which one's hydrophilic? Remember, the properties of water that repel water whenever an amino acid does that, like the top picture, you actually see the white water molecules being repelled away from the green amino acid chain. On the bottom you see the white water molecules actually going towards the green amino acid and sticking to them somewhat. This shows the repelling and attraction nature of hydrophobic and hydrophilic molecules. This brings us to our next simulation, which is the picture of glutamic acid protein chain. Notice here all the molecules, all the amino acids say glue. That's because glutamic acid is a hydrophilic molecule. Remember hydrophilic means it loves or attracts water. In class, we learned that these molecules will actually form a chain. The chain appearance is because the molecule wants as much of its surface area volume ratio to touch the surrounding water. So if you watch, as I press run, you should see what happens to glutamic acid. Notice it's spreading out, it's moving around a nice long chain. Notice the key or the icons above the blue screen. Positively charged molecules are red, negatively charged molecules are green, neutral or white, hydrophobic will show up as pink, Hydrophilic will show up as cyan, water is the background blue, or I could change it to oil background beating yellow. Right now I'm showing you the charge of the molecule, so please pay attention to your conclusion questions and your step 7 when it asks you about the charge of glutamic acid. I'm now going to change that instead of charge and I'm going to show you the hydrophobicity, so it'll show you if it's hydrophobic or hydrophilic. You should know by based on the movement of the amino acid chain, but here it's also color coded so that you can figure that charge out as well, and the hydrophobicity in this case. Please take a moment and look at your activity and fill in the appropriate information. Press pause on the video if necessary. This simulation now shows a hydrophobic molecule such as valine. In class we learned the difference between glutamic acid and valine has to do with if it's afraid or in love with water. Remember the suffix philic means to love and phobic means to hate. Watch as I press run on this simulation and look at the properties of valine. I'm going to change it to show its charge, so it should be color-coded. Notice the, co the color is white, so look at the key when it comes to questions regarding the charge of valine. Here's what valine does when it's surrounded by water. Notice the clumping up and the molecules hurting together. They are forming a circle in the middle of the screen. They're moving around and bouncing, but they're still trying to stick together. This is because they're fearful or phobic of water, and they do not want their surface area to combine or mix with it. So they all pull in and form a clump. So hydrophobic molecules will clump whenever added to water. I've now changed the charge to hydrophobicity so that it's color coded for you as well. Notice in the key above, hydrophobic molecules show up as pink. The reason we're going over these colors in addition to the way that they move or react in water is because the next simulation I'm going to show you a the amino acid chain that codes for a sickle cell blood cell. Remember, sickle cell anemia causes normal circular shaped blood cells to form a kink or a clump that actually pulls the molecule of hemoglobin in at one portion. And I want you to be able to identify if it's hydrophobic or philic and what the charge is based on the color coding and based on the movement of the molecule. Go ahead and look through your worksheet and press pause on the video at this time if you need some time to answer some questions. This brings us to our last simulation through the molecular workbench. And what I've shown you here now is the amino acid sequence, or the polypeptide chain, which codes for a sickle cell blood hemoglobin cell. Notice that there is a alanine, leucine, leucine section on the right. There's also your valine, histidine, leucine, therine, and pro line on the left. Notice that the water is in the background and it's color coded according to charge. When I press run on the simulation, you will see the neutral or nonpolar part of the molecule folding and bending in. 
This molecule is folding and bending in on one corner, which represents the bending or folding in of the sickle shell cell shape of the hemoglobin molecule. I'm going to change the charge to phlebicity so that you can see how the molecule reacts in water. Notice the glutamic acid, which is hydrophilic, it loves water, still stays pretty much in a chain. However, the hydrophobic areas of the molecule will actually pinch in. Notice that on the left, the valine, the leucine, and the proline are trying to pair up, they're trying to herd together, but the histidine and ther theronine that are between those molecules are preventing them from sticking and staying clumped. I hope this simulation helps you understand the difference between hydrophobic and philic and understand why a sickle cell hemoglobin molecule will actually pinch in because of the one sentence or one single substitution change in the molecule. If you have questions, ask me in class.